First off, let me show you how to get two items that will increase the amount of gold you receive when performing this method. Starting with the easiest one that can be obtained at the very start of the game. After boarding the tutorial town boat, you just need to accept the quest to catch chickens. And you have the first golden egg once you caught all chickens. The second egg is much harder to obtain and costs 30,000 gold. You can buy it after beating Tatiana's quest. Check my Tatiana quest guide in the video description below to see how to beat it early. You just need to head southwest to where you first meet Selvi and do the infinitely repeatable auxiliary quest here. Also, you have to set your game difficulty down to story mode since you get valor points the fastest on that setting. You will only need one team for this. It will be a thief, the main character, and the strongest character available. My strongest character is this Cav here. In addition, the main character must be set as the team leader in order to obtain the fastest valor point gain. This is due to the fact that you need to be plundering as many different enemies as possible. Prioritize your plundering towards targets that are the closest to you in order to gain the maximum amount of money. This is because you cannot use valor skills while in a battle. Once the tower enemy is defeated, just sit on the tower and let all the enemies rush towards you. The enemies are all very low level. Thus, you can do this gold farming method very early on. That way, you'll have enough gold to buy out every new town and city you unlock. You'll also not have to worry about whether or not to spend a consumable during battle, since you'll know that you can always buy more with infinite gold. However, the consumables in the stores are limited in the amount that you can buy in each of them. You can buy up all their limited stock whenever you unlock a new town to get as many consumable items as possible, if you so choose to do so. I tested this method for quite a while since there are just so many items to buy in this game. I got around 8,000 to 12,000 gold per run. That makes it an average of 10,000 gold with each run taking around three minutes or so, now that my infinite gold farming video is out. That wraps up my infinite grinding series. Be sure to check out my infinite divine shard farming video and infinite XP farming video, if you are interested in grinding those out too. But this begs the question on why exactly have I gone out of my way to find such methods? That is because this game is very open-ended. You can explore high-level areas very early on. The best part of JRPGs for me is pushing the characters to the limit and doing things that should normally not be possible or recommended at the current point in the game. Unicorn Overlord is very much in line with this design and celebrates it. You can buy end-game level items in a shop. The King's Blade you can obtain in the first area is confirmed to be end-game level which is why it was nerfed in the latest patch. The very thing that convinced me to go out on this journey to be the strongest was of course the title drop main quest that appears when you repair a bridge to the area where the final boss is. Joseph even warns you that this will be your final destination when doing this. So that's right. As soon as the game is released, I'm going to be challenging this area. Without saving Scarlet, and going to any other new zone. I will be beating the game as soon as possible and documenting my attempt. Subscribe to see this video as soon as the game is released. And as always, like and share this video if it helped you out. Wish me luck, friends.